What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today, you guys, with a brand a new review for Tyler Perry's Sisters, Season 6, Episode 18, and this episode is titled From the Blind Side, you guys. Now, before we go ahead and get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and sharing the video, you guys. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss sisters, shall we? <laughs> Have to go to show you guys. All right, you guys. So this week, there's no, there's no recap of the Oval because I didn't watch it this week. So we'll discuss episode, whatever episode this was this week, and next week's episode, we'll discuss it in next week's review of Sisters, if I watch that too. Now, this episode, you guys, of Sisters was a very interesting episode, you guys, but it was hilarious to me at points in it. Now, you guys remember, in the last episode, we ended with Gary showing up over to Jordan's house, you guys. I keep forgetting these dudes' names, so I, in my notes, it was like, old oh, new guy and new guy and his friends, but I think it's Jordan... Rich and Tony. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, you guys, so remember, Gary was over to Jordan's house, right? And so Andy saw Gary. And so in this episode, it opens up with that. And Gary is basically pretending like he don't know who Andy is. I was like, well, I know you motherfucking lying. Gary, don't play with us. Do not play with Andy and do not play with me. And Andy's just sitting here looking like an old dumb deer in headlights. So Gary kept saying, you know, he don't know Andy. And, you know, Jordan is like, is there something I'm missing here? I wanted Andy to just pipe up and be like, yeah, this is the crazy nigga that I've had so much dealings with. But nope, she didn't say it. So Gary was like, well, you know what? I'm about to get up out of here. And he was like, no, nah, my sister hasn't gotten here yet. I almost started thinking to myself like, um, Mr. Jordan, I don't know who your sister is and I don't know why your sister is of any kind of importance to this situation, but we don't care about your sister. But Gary's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna leave. So Danny and Sabrina, they were sitting with Rich and Tony and Danny looked in like, Sabrina, girl, ain't that Gary over there? Oh my God, it is Gary. So Tony and Rich say, how do y'all know Gary? <laughs> you know, um, we know him from around the way. Y'all should have just been on, opening on the set. He was fucking Andy. Like he was recently just with Andy. Like literally, recently with Andy. Literally with Andy. Now, Danny goes up there being her typical Danny self and I was here for it. So Danny was like, he's, so once again, Jordan said, y'all know Gary? Yeah, we know Gary. And Gary is once again like, uh, I got to dip on up out of here, right? So Gary went to the side and then eventually Jordan went over to where he was. And then Sabrina, Karen, not Super Karen, Sabrina, Andy, and Danny, they went inside to talk. And they trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on with Gary being up here, right? Danny was like, we finna get to the bottom of this. Yo, Gary, Gary, yeah, you come over here. Come on, Gary, come here. And Gary's looking like, huh, me? Yeah, yeah, you nigga. Bring your ass on over here. So let's pause here, you guys, and let's move forward. Now, you guys, they've moved the party inside the house, right? Which is kind of confusing because one y'all supposed to be sitting outside to eat, but now y'all done took the food from outside to inside, but okay, I guess. And there was a whole bar outside, but once again, okay, Tyler, I guess. So Danny, like I said, trying to get to the bottom of what's going on. And in the midst of this, in walks Penelope, portrayed by Salisha. If you guys didn't watch America's Next Top Model, she won America's Next Top Model Cycle 9, I believe. I think she won Cycle 9 of America's Next Top Model. She's also been a very, she's been acting for quite some time. She's played on All My Children. She played Cassandra on All My Children a role that Yaya DaCosta originally played, and then Talisha came in, and then she's most currently been acting on 
Days of Our Lives, her character's name has been Lonnie Price. Can't stand her character on Days of Our Lives. She is such an annoying little bitch. But um, that's neither here nor there. Now, Penelope is Jordan's sister. I was like, okay. Then she was talking about her man and how, you know, they've been in, you know, she's, mind you, she's pregnant as hell. And it's their first child. And they were like, wait a minute, who's first child? Mine and Gary's. Yours and whose? She said, yeah, Gary. That Gary over there? Yep, that Gary over there. How long have you and that Gary been together? Oh, we've been getting up to three years now. Girl say, what now? You and Scary Gary have been together for three years. She said, yep. I was like, oh. So do you know about Jasmine? Because we ain't heard hide nor hair of Jasmine in quite some time. Where is Jasmine? How is Jasmine and her homegirls doing? Are they still locked up in prison? Let us know, girlfriend. Have you ever heard of Andy? We'll talk about that in just a minute, you guys. We will talk about that. Now, we move over to Karen's old miserable ass. So Karen has that, so the contractor went over to Karen's house and I thought that was very odd. So he gave her the estimate and so she looked at it. I guess the estimate is a lot, but then when she talked to Pam, she said it wasn't that much. That's neither here nor there. But she went and saw, so she, he told her how much it was. She asked him what time frame are they looking at. He said approximately five months because things are currently on back order, which that is true. If you guys know anything about like with auto and property, the pandemic put a whole, put, put, a, put the you know, insurance world in a tizzy. So Karen called after he left. Now, I might be wrong, but the vibe that I got from him was that he was flirting with Karen. He was giving me, he was flirting with Karen when he was talking about, you know, them clothes. I was like, sir, I do detect that you might be flirting just a little bit with Karen, but steer clear of her. Now, after he left, she called up Pam. She's asking Pam to go down to the beauty supply store to pick up some things because at this point, she wants to now run the salon outside of her home. And I was like, is, isn't that like a safety problem? Because you got chemicals, and then girl, you pregnant, girl. That's a health. That's a health risk. That's a, that's a fire risk. Then your play. I mean, your salon just burned down. Granted, it was behind because of a homeless man, but you putting yourself in a lot of danger, Karen. But hey, if you want to do it, ma'am, go ahead and do it. Knock yourself out. She also wants Pam to come and work for her part time. I was with Pam part time, bitch. No, girl, you gonna, you gonna have to pony up on some full time money. Come on now. Or either you're gonna pay me some unemployment money, one of the two. I don't give a damn which one it is. Either you're gonna give me more money or unemployment money until that damn shop is up and running. Because that ain't my fault that you ain't got no insurance on this. Because even, but, but even if Karen had insurance on this, you know, it probably would say take a while for the salon to be open again, you guys. But let's pause here and let's move forward. All right, you guys. So this next scene we got was a very quick scene with Maurice and Calvin. And it was a filler scene, like, like they really could have kept this scene because it did absolutely nothing for the episode where they're talking about going down to the bar. And you know, Maurice is talking about he wants to find a man to break his back. And Calvin is like, you know, no, we're gonna find you a good man. And I was like, what is this conversation? What is going on here? I was thoroughly confused, hella confused, not even thoroughly confused hella fucking confused. The next thing we got is Zach and Fatima, right? So they went over to Heather's crib and, you know, the, um, they called before they even... Now, here's the thing. I thought last week the whole thing was that they were going to wait and see what the attorney said and then if he wasn't able to get them an emergency case that he would wait until the weekend. But now they're over to the house. Now they're back over to the apartment. And, you know, the attorney said that he would meet with them the next day. Then Cheryl, the nosy ass neighbor, she came up there to them. And, you know, she's telling Zach, she noted that uh, Heather called the cops on him. And whatever they did, you know, it's kept, um, you know, the men ain't been over there to the apartment no more. She did tell them that, you know, they're not at the apartment and that, 
she and the little boy, they went somewhere. When they left out, he was, you know, crying and limping. And I was like, what the f did they do to him for him to be walking out crying and limping? But that's neither here nor there, right? So she says, I hope that she took him to the hospital. And then Zach offered to give the woman some money. And I think Zach was doing this out of generosity and the kindness of his heart. And Cheryl said, I don't need no damn money. What you give me this money for? And Zach was like, I didn't mean anything by it. But seems like, yeah, he didn't mean anything by it. And she's still raising a fit about the damn money. But then at the got but then at the end of it, at the end of it, right? She told Zach, Well, you say you sorry, and you say you weren't trying to offend me. Go ahead and give me some of that money. I, I can use a little change. I was like, lady, you knew you needed the money in the first place. What the fuck was the purpose in that in doing that? Heather B, why'd you do it, sis? It was it wasn't it wasn't any need for that. But she took the money nonetheless, right? And, you know, let's I already told you guys about Pam, about Karen wanting her to come work in a salon part time. Pam did tell her that, you know, she got everything on the list. And so at this point, Karen wants Pam to call up some of her clients to see if they will come to the house and get their hair done. I was like, I'm pretty sure they will. But again, that is a health violation. But OK, if you like it, I love it. Wouldn't be for me. She also wants some help from the guys at the salon to move some of the stuff from the salon to her home. And Pam was like, well, why don't you call Erin? And I was like, she's done with Erin. Well, for now. For now. We might see Erin pop up again. For the love of God, I hope we don't. But I'm pretty positive we're going to see Erin grace our TV screens once again pretty soon. So let's pause here and let's move forward and wrap up the episode, you guys. All right, you guys, so next up we see Zach. So Zach and Fatima, now they went down to the county hospital, right? But granted, they don't know this little boy's last name. So they don't really know, they just know that his name, first name is Michael, but they don't know his last name. So they don't really know who they're looking for. And then that made me question, so how the hell are y'all going to court against Heather? When y'all don't know his last name, do you know Heather's last name? I know you know Heather's address, but what else do you know about Heather? So Zach is beating himself up for having a baby with the likes of Heather. And, you know, I still, again, you guys know I haven't watched Zatima, so I don't know what the storyline is there over there on Zatima. Now, I do know, I believe somebody told me in the comment section that at the end of what, season two or somewhere in season two, that Fatima is pregnant by Zach. I wonder if that's going to play out on sisters or not. I'm very curious. But um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought real quick, and I don't know what I was talking about. Huh. I forgot what I was talking about. It'll come back to me in a minute. Oh, he was beating himself up about having a baby with the likes of Heather, right? Oh, that's where my train of thought was going. I still do question the validity of this little boy being his son. Now, I do know that on Zatima, that Fatima, she did take a swab of Michael and of, you know, Zach, and she got that tested. But at the same time, Hayden was still in the background, and I've never trusted Hayden, and I still don't trust Hayden. So I feel like Hayden, because at that time, I do know that Hayden was, you know, being the attorney to Heather, right? So I don't know. Let me know if you guys follow where I'm going. I don't, because I don't really follow where I'm going. I think what I, I know what I'm trying to say. I don't know that I don't trust this 100%, but that's neither here nor there. Next up, you guys, Gary. We are getting deep into Gary and Penelope's business. So the question, you know, they're talking to Penelope. And remember, I told you earlier that Penelope and Zach, not Zach, but Gary, have been in a relationship with each other for three years, right? And it's so interesting because, Gary, you have been doing so many things to Andy. You have created a surprise wedding for Andy. You put on that infinity ring to Andy. 
you bought Andy this apartment, you bought Andy that car, you've been watching Andy from your office, you um, are working with Hayden against Robin because he slept with Andy, you um, you almost you you almost squeezed the life out of Andy when he when he messed up her when he was hugging her so tight with her ribs. Your ex-wife Jasmine has tried to fight Andy. Your ex-wife Jasmine shot you. Like it's been so much stuff with you and Andy, but we're just now finding out about Penelope, huh? I mean, you never even mentioned Penelope when we got that old that weird ass woman with them tan that tantric those tantric sex positions. Hmm, Gary, very interesting. Now, they met on a blind date. I was like, you don't say so. They met on a blind date. Now, Penelope, one more time. Did you know he was married before? Oh, okay, maybe not, huh? Then she said um, he bought her a car and an apartment. I was like, well, I be damned. And Danny was with me. I was like, okay, we on the same page, Danny. So then I said, did he buy you um, a Rolls Royce? She said, no, he didn't buy me a Rolls Royce. <coughs> she doesn't, she's not a materialistic girl. And she basically judges people who drive those cars. And they was like, well, Andy, hmm, what do you think about that? And she was like, am I missing something? They were like, oh, Andy drives a Rolls Royce. She's like, oh, well, it's, I don't think anything bad about you. They were like, oh, yeah, she didn't buy it for herself. The reason why she got it is because a man gave it to her. And she was like, oh, so you got yourself a Gary, too. Yes, exactly. You would think that they are the same person. She's like, really? Yes, ma'am. Damn near the same person. Oh, that's right. They are the same person, right? So at this point, Danny is like, you know what? I can't really hold this much longer. And I was like, Danny, just let it out, girlfriend. We get it. So Penelope went to go check on the guys because they forgot about the food and it was on, they got forgot about the food and the food was burning at one point. And even at one point, Gary, he came in and she's like, baby Gary, come over here. And they're like, yeah, baby Gary, come on over here, baby Gary. So the guys at one point, the one thing that I'm just irritated with this storyline right here is this Danny thing. I don't understand where we're going with this whole Danny situation. It's, it's messy to me, and I don't want her, I don't even like it at five percent. Now, at one point Penelope went outside where the guys were, and Andy was telling, you know, Sabrina and Danny, get y'all shit and we get the fuck out of here. And Danny was like, Hell no. She was like, We finna sit here and we finna tell her the real deal about her man. And, you know, Danny was like, That's another black woman. And Aunt Danny was like, from where I'm sitting, He's messing with two black women, so let's go ahead and spill this shit. And I was like, hey, man, Danny, put that nigga on blast. So I don't know what Penelope heard, but Penelope eventually came back in and she was asking them what they say. But I don't believe that Danny said anything about them being in a relationship. I don't think. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch the end of that episode, but I didn't hear Danny say anything about Andy and Gary being in a relationship. She was talking about what a piece of shit Gary is, but again, I don't remember hearing her saying anything about those two being involved with each other. But if they did, if she did, you guys, like I said, I'm going to go back and watch it, but you guys can also leave it in the comment section as well. But that's the episode, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications, share the video, you guys, and until the next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Wash your hands. Be blessed, and I'll see you guys later. This, like I said, was a pretty good episode, but you guys know how Tyler is. Tyler forgets what he writes. I know that. I'm still confused about this situation with Gary, Penelope, Andy, and even Jasmine. And I know we all say, you guys, I know we all say this every time about Gary. He got other kids. He supposedly didn't have kids, but then he supposedly has kids. With Jasmine that we ain't never saw, I know. I guess we just are never gonna see them kids with the kids that he got with Jasmine. So those kids just don't exist, and it is what it is, you guys. We just gonna have to pretend like they don't exist at this point. But yeah, you guys, that is all I got. Once again, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. 
and I will see you guys in the next video, you guys. Until then, bye guys.